Hey everybody, welcome back to musicmoosh.org. In this segment, we're going to get back to the fingerboard and learning all of the notes on the fingerboard. Now, remember I said that we were calling the distance between each fret a half step. So I'd like to liken the fingerboard now to a staircase. Each fret, again, the distance between each fret being a half a step. So starting at the nut and working our way up towards the 22nd fret, you can think about climbing the staircase in these half steps. Okay. And as you're climbing the staircase, every note that you play on a different fret climbing up the staircase is going to be higher in pitch. And the same holds tr true starting at the top of the staircase and working your way down is going to be each fret or each half step that you go down is going to be lower in pitch as you work your way down. So on to the notes on the fingerboard. Now you also remember uh, that when I talked just a little bit about theory and that we're going to use the first seven letters of the alphabet. That being A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now, I also said that there were 12 notes in music, that being all that we had to work with. So, again, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, that's seven notes. Well, you say, well, where's, where's the rest of the five notes to make up the 12? Now they're going to consist of either sharps or flats, okay? Now let me first say that there are no sharps and flats between the notes B and C. No sharps and flats between B and C. And also there are no sharps and flats between E and and F. There are none, okay? But there are between A and B, between C and D, D and E, F and G, and G and A. So, starting on the A note and counting up a half step, climbing the step in these half steps, the next note from A is going to be either A sharp or B flat. Okay? And between C and D, that note can either be called C sharp or D flat. Again, between D and E, it can be D sharp or E flat. Between F and G, F sharp or G flat. And between G and A, it can be G sharp and A flat. Now those two notes, I'll use the A and, and B as an example. A sharp and B flat sound exactly the same. They're just named differently. And, and those two notes, A sharp and, and B flat, and all of these other sharps and flats are called inharmonic. All inharmonic means and why they do this is when someone is writing or composing music for sheet music. That's the only reason they do that, to make it visually so they can a person reading sheet music can can easily view the music in a, in a simple way. And I'm not even going to get into that right now. But that's all that means. 
Inharmonic just means they're exactly the same note. They have exactly the same pitch. So that's making up our 12 notes. I'll just use the sharps in, in this example. We'll, we'll, we'll start A as one. So we have A, A sharp, B, C. Remember there are no sharps and flats between B and C. C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Again, no flats and sharps between E and F. And we have F, F sharp, G, and G sharp. We can also use, if we want to say B flat as well, we can. A, B flat, B, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, and A flat. Again, those A sharp, B flat, same exact note and they sound exactly the same. Again, the only reason they do that and why they call it in harmonic is for reading and writing sheet music. Okay. Now, let's apply that knowledge, those 12 notes, to the fingerboard of the banjo. And I'm sort of running out of time, so we're going to get right back in to learning all the notes on the five-string banjo in the next segment. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you next time right here on the Moose.